Okay, today I'm doing some inside mount vertical blinds, change them out. What I'm going with is going to be a slightly different brand. This is a corded blind headrail, and I'm going to be replacing it with a traditional wand style vertical blind. Going to be needing to replace the head brackets that this one comes with. These just turn out, just turn them to the side. And that allows the slot to turn out. These are kind of painted in, so I'm take a little extra. Drop them back. There we go. That'll allow us to pull the old one down. Get rid of it. You can see here the slot that these ones went into. And this little slot, you insert it in and then turn it over and that just locks it in place. But anyway, get rid of this one. Your little six and one screwdriver is going to work good for these. Switch to the flat head. Options on this one. different options on installing the blinds when they're inside mount like this. You can use the balance or you cannot use the balance. You can mount your brackets inside so the, the balance will be flush with the panel or you can mount it so the balance will be out a little bit. Just depends on the finish that you want. With the new brackets here, what we're going to do is just separate just the bracket piece is all we need here. So we can just pull these all apart. If you got a drill with you, that'll speed things up. I'm going to just be reusing the old screws from the old deal here. These are press and place brackets. I'm just going to be reusing the old holes here. Again, it really depends on the finish that you want, where you mount the brackets at. I'm going to have the balance popped out a little bit. Reason being is that the other blinds that are on the same wall are outside mount and they pop out a little bit and I just think it would look more uniform if these match just a little bit. But whatever suits your taste, particular taste, your particular setup. Again, if you wanted to speed this up, just using a drill, speed things up a lot. And we'd be in already. I'm doing it by hand today. It's alright. Let's get a forearm exercise. And the last one. Now we're ready for the header. And you're just going to want to pick which way is going to work better for you for your blinds to stack up. I'm going to have them stacking up on the left since it's furthest from the door. You just kind of rotate. 
tape these into place, press them up, and it snaps in nice and tight. That's if you wanted it without the balance. But if you wanted the balance on there, you're going to want to put your balance on first. So I'm going to pop that back down and show you. It gives me a chance to show you how you press these out in order to take them out. Just press the back tab like so. Okay, for the balance. Here. All you do is rotate these in like so, just so that they're not lined up directly with your brackets. Once you mount it, and then we're just going to clip this on the top of the head rail. with the balance slightly slightly extended from the face which is fine and the wand just goes in at its proper angle and now we're ready to hang up the blinds we probably have a good time to check and make sure you got full rotation and that everything flies real good and we do there it's good there next is going to be hanging up the blind slats Flaps are all pre-cut. I like to put the curve towards the back. And mine came in this bag. What I'm going to do is leave them in the bag, tear the pop open, and then show you how easy you can just slide them up into place just by resting it on the floor or on the wheel here. And by keeping them together, they all kind of lend support to each other, so it makes it a lot easier, a lot less tedious on your hands and such. And you just pop them in one by one. here. So now I'm going to just go ahead and pull the bag off from the bottom and grab my couple extras here. Okay. And then we'll slide it over and check everything out, make sure we're not missing any, and see how everything looks. And there it is. This is an inside mount set of vertical blinds has a small slight gap on this side and it's a little bit far over on this side so I'm going to try to slide the entire thing over just a hair. Be careful with these, they are sharp sheet metal. So. do is just use my screwdriver like a wedge up here in the top corner and use another this L bracket here to block and move the whole thing over and then close it up and close it up.
I might need to come back this way just just a tiny bit. So the same thing at this corner. Gonna use the L bracket as a block. Gonna use my screwdriver. Slide it over. There we go. And now we're nice and balanced. Got it turned all the way. I think this can slide over. There we go. Beautiful. One set of vertical blinds, all set. Inside mount, good to go.